It's never enough time in a day, but we're going to bring in David Bonson, managing partner of the Bonson Group. David, glad you're here. Uh, it's not going to be as long as I'd hoped because I had to spew forth on the RNC. But look at first one. Why is the SEC trying to strangle private investment funds? That I don't get. Well, it doesn't make sense. It's an overreach. It's counterproductive. Uh, they are probably using the bullet of that family office last year to try to use that uh, with political reign to, you know, get more uh, reach into private equity hedge funds. But the whole point is that that family office fund that blew up last year hurt the family office. It mm. didn't hurt anybody else. It wasn't systemic. And to try to get daily disclosure from hedge funds on things happening within their fund is going to create the exact thing they're trying to avoid, more risk and more problems. Yeah, you know, it's so interesting. I knew Gary Gensler years ago. He's come on my other show on another network when he was kind of a pro-business <laughs> Democrat. I guess times have changed. But your article, I want you to invite attention to your National Review article because it was a very good one. You know, protecting rich people with reports every 10 minutes is um, kind of like stupid. Um, but here's a fun one from you because I know you're a big fan of Bitcoin, not. Feds seized $3.6 in stolen Bitcoin. This crazy couple, Ilya Lichtenstein and his wife, Heather Morgan, uh, I know, pretty clever people, but they got caught. Yeah, they did. It's a very interesting story. And, and what's most interesting is what the value was at the time they stole it compared to where the value is now and how that's going to play into it. I don't think it speaks at all positively or negatively to the kind of future value of Bitcoin. You know my thoughts on the speculative craze there and the idea of something that goes up and down 30% every time Elon Musk tweets being a stable value of <laughs> currency. Uh, I'm obviously not there, but um, this whole story of how they caught it and so forth is quite interesting. All right. I'm surprised in New York, no bail, no jail. Anyway, I gotta go. David Bonson, thank you, buddy. Much more to be revealed.